Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priya Kanojia. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about components of population change. In my earlier videos, we have learned about concepts of demography and some of the basic concepts of population studies. So today, let us understand various aspects of population change. So composition of population covers all the characteristics of a population that can be major. So which are those factors of population that can be major? Those are rural and urban residents, age, marital status, sex ratio. So people can be distinguished by their age, sex and their place of residence. There are some other factors that can be major. Those are occupation, education and life expectancy. Why there is a need to study population composition? To know the structure of population, to study on various demographic indicators for the fu future planning and it is the main pillar of population studies. So what do you mean by population change? Population change means the change in number of inhabitants during a specific period of time. This change can be positive or negative. It can be expressed in either in terms of absolute numbers or in terms of percentage. Population change of any country or in any area is an indicator of economic development. So we can mention one example as poverty can be reduced if population growth will be in control. So here are the main three components of population change. Those are births, deaths and migration. We have already learned the meaning of these three components. So if any area number of deaths are more then population of that particular area will be decreased or will be stable and if there is a more number of births then population growth will also be increased. Same in the case of immigrants and emigrants. So if the number of immigrants has been increased in particular area then population growth will be increased and if number of emigrants has been increased in particular area then population growth will be decreased. So here is one more element of population change that is crude birth rate. This is also an important factor. So it is expressed as number of live births in a year per thousand of population. So formula for that is total births in a city divided by total population of a city into 1000. So we can take one example. In 2019, there were 3,250 births in a city with population of 2,23,000. So CBR of that particular city is 14.57 live births for every 1,000 people in the city. Similarly, crude death rate is also calculated so death rate plays an active role in population change population growth occurs not only by increasing birth rate but also due to decreasing death rate like CBR and CDR is expressed in terms of number of deaths in a particular year per thousand of population in a particular region So why crude birth rate or crude death rate is considered as crude? Because it ignores the age structure of the population. It doesn't take into account that age group in the population that is actually able to give birth. Similarly, actual birth or death rates take into account the population structure of a country. Birth rates and death rates will not be same for all age groups simultaneously. 
here are the some formulas of CBR, CDR and population growth. We have already seen the formulas of CBR and CDR. So formula of population growth is equal to present population minus earlier population and population growth rate is calculated by population growth divided by earlier population into 100. Here one more important point I want to mention that is the crude birth rate and death rate is called crude because it does not take into account age or sex differences among the population. This is the important point. Again one more important element of population is population structure. Structure of a population is the overall picture or the idea we get by studying the composition of population. For example, age composition of the population tells us about the percentage of children, young and aged people in the country. Population structure will give us an idea about the dependency ratio and the effects of the composition will have on the economy of particular country. So we'll see in detail one by one structures of population in my next video and that's all for this session. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching. Thank you.